Okay, so here we've got an example of doing a benefit cost evaluation for training. And this example parallels the assignment that's in our module. Now, the data in this example is different than our assignment, but uh, the processes are uh, mainly the same here. And so you can use this video to help you complete that assignment. Um, you can see we start out uh, with the number of trainees at the top, and then we've got the training costs uh, that includes the uh, cost of the trainers and the equipment and uh, how that is being depreciated. We've got the maintenance costs here and uh, the cost for the compensation of trainees, the facilities costs and training materials and other training costs which we will uh, sum up here at the bottom. Next we get into the benefits of training and uh, that includes productivity and we'll look at turnover and also sum up then those benefits. At the end you'll see we get into doing the benefit cost analysis Let's start by calculating the costs of the trainers in each year. And we can go into that cell in C8. And so that is going to be equal to the value from year zero. And we're multiplying, putting that value in, that's cell B8. And we're taking that value and multiplying it by uh, 1 plus the value of C9, which is below that 4%. You can see that's highlighted there in that cell. As we proceed here, this is an example of where we can cut and paste. Okay, so if we copy that and then paste it into the next cell, you'll see that the values of the cells change accordingly. It's taking the year previous, multiplying it by that annual cost that's below, and inserting that value. And we can keep on pasting, and we will have, again, Excel automatically change those values there for us. The next step here will be to calculate the annual depreciation amount. We're going to start here by calculating the annual depreciation amount. And we're going to take uh, that value, the beginning annual value, and multiply that by the annual equipment depreciation. That's going to, again, highlight those cells. Next, we're going to calculate the remaining value of the equipment. And that is going to be, again, that uh, beginning value. Um, and we're going to subtract from that the annual appreciation amount. When you do that, you can see that the beginning annual value for year two has been auto-filled. Now, but in this area, we can't just simply cut and paste the formula we had in this year one cell and bring it across because that auto-filling process will not give us the correct results. And that's because we're depreciating that beginning annual value from year one in each of these cells. And so here, I'm going to be putting um, that it is that value C12 times the annual depreciation value from year two. Okay, we see those cells highlighted. And then now we're going to get the remaining value by taking the value from 
year two and subtracting from that that annual depreciation, depreciation value in D14. So next we're going to go to year three and again we're going to reference the beginning value from year one and multiply that by the annual equipment depreciation for year three which is in cell E13. Okay we can see those highlighted and now we're going to take the beginning value in year three and subtract from that the uh, annual depreciation amount from uh, year three. See those cells highlighted? And we'll continue this process as we have in those previous cells. And you can see when we end that, we should end on a value of zero, as is noted here, and also the step-by-step -step instructions that are included with the assignment. So next we're going to look at the increases in maintenance costs. And so when we start in year one, we're going to uh, first refer to that year zero value. And so we're going to start our formula uh, by referring to that in B17. And we're multiplying that times one plus the annual increase in maintenance that we have in cell C18. You can see that highlighted. Now we can do cut and paste here. You can see uh, up in the formula bar that the cells will be adjusted accordingly. And if you do that, and you can see on each subsequent step, if you pause it, that again the formula is adjusting uh, and auto-filling for the correct cells. So this does highlight that uh, sometimes you can use the autofill and cut and paste uh, as you're taking a formula from one cell to the next, but in other cases that autofill is not going to give you the appropriate formula. And so as we progress we'll see trainee compensation. And again we're doing the same type of inflation factor. You're going to take that year zero amount in year one and you can see that's highlighted and you're going to multiply that times one plus the value of the annual increase in when I do that that should highlight that cell and uh, that will be there again um, here we're going to allow Excel to autofill the cell values in our formula and therefore we can cut and paste and in each subsequent year it will make that adjustment. Next we'll do the same inflation factor for facilities costs. Again in year one we're going to start with that year zero value and multiply that times one plus the annual increase in costs. And if we do that with these inflation calculations, we can use the copy and paste function. And next we'll do that same inflation adjustment for the setup cleanup time. That should be highlighted again. We do that. We can cut and paste and let Excel do the autofill for us. And we're going to do it again here for the training materials. We can again do the copy and paste in each of those subsequent cells. Okay, next we're going to do the total annual training costs. And here we're going to compute by that by summing all of those costs. 
and uh, I'm just going to do that in kind of an old school way by adding them together. Um, alternatively, you could use the sub uh, sum command for this. Next, you can uh, take that and copy and paste it again. Okay, we're going to round this out by doing the annual cost per trainee, and we're going to compute that by taking the total annual costs and dividing it by the number of trainees. You'll remember that that is uh, reported at the top of the spreadsheet. So we're going to take our annual costs and divide it by that cell, which is in B3. But here we have to type this in in each subsequent cell. We can't cut and paste. Um, because our denominator here is always going to be referring to B3. So next we're going to go down and look at training benefits. And first we're going to look at productivity. And here we're going to look at the changes in benefits whether there was training and compare it to whether there was not training. And we'll start with the annual changes in productivity assuming there was no training. Here we can go to that year one cell and uh, type in the formula that uses the year zero value and multiply that times one plus that change in productivity uh, with no training. We can see those cells highlighted. Now when we're doing this, we can copy and paste. So next we're going to look at what the productivity uh, benefits would be with training. And so what we're going to do is take that increase in productivity that we saw without training and multiply it by the percentage increase with training. And we can see those cells highlighted. And that will give us the increase that we get with training. And we can here copy and paste to get that factor for each year one through five. Next, we're going to do a similar type of analysis in terms of turnover costs and look at what they would be with no training and then look at how they would be reduced if we had training. We're going to start out with our year zero turnover costs and that is in cell B46 and we're going to then multiply that times one plus the percentage increase in turnover costs that we see in year one. And we're going to uh, copy and paste that in each of the subsequent. Again, uh, Excel will make those changes accordingly. You can slow down and see how that's changing the formula if you like. Next, we'll look at how uh, turnover costs decrease because of training. And here we're going to take whatever that cost of turnover is that we have for the current year. Here that's in C46. And we're going to multiply that by the factor of decrease in turnover because of training. Here we can see that's C48. We do that. We see how much we're going to save because of the training reducing turnover costs. We can take that again and copy and paste and that will give us those values in each of the subsequent years. And now we're going to sum those benefits that we find due to training. And we can do that simply by adding what we found as the benefits uh, in terms of productivity and adding that to the benefit that we found in terms of reducing turnover. And uh, when we do that, we get that value and we can then take that and cut and paste for each of the five years. Next we'll get into synthesizing this in a benefit cost analysis but that will be in the next video.